Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about artificial intelligence, or AI, and how it can play a part in your learning, especially with online learning. This video is for Summit Trail students, but all students can benefit. Many of you may already use AI in some way, whether it's searching for information online, using apps, or even chatting with virtual assistants. But AI can be a double-edged sword in education. So let's explore the right way to use it and what to be cautious about. First, let's talk about how AI can help you learn effectively and responsibly. Here are some practical ways to use AI in your studies. One, writing assistance. AI can help you improve your writing. If you're struggling to phrase a sentence or want suggestions on grammar and style, AI tools like grammar checkers can offer real-time feedback. They can flag common errors and suggest alternatives, helping you become a better writer. The important thing here is that you evaluate the changes, read it back, does it make sense? Did it change your thought at all? Keep it you, you are more fascinating than any AI. Two, math help. Need help with a tough math problem? AI powered calculators can guide you through step-by-step -step solutions, showing the logic behind each step. The problem here is that the solution may be ideas that are at your grade level. This is especially helpful when you're stuck. But remember, it's important to understand the why behind the solution, not just the answer. This is a good opportunity to ask your teacher why the AI solved an equation the way it did. If you don't get it, you won't be able to reproduce it on a test. Three, learning new concepts. AI can break down difficult subjects into easier to understand explanations. Whether it's explaining scientific theories or summarizing a historical event, AI can provide bite-sized information that's easy to digest. You can even ask AI for extra examples to better understand complex topics. Four, test preparation. If you're preparing for a test, AI can generate quizzes or flashcards to help you review. You could upload your notes to the AI and ask it to test you. Some platforms can adapt questions based on your performance, focusing on the areas where you need the most practice. Let me give you an example of how AI can help but also where it has limitations compared to human input. Imagine you're writing an essay about climate change. You could ask an AI tool to generate some key points. Here's an AI generated response. Climate change refers to the long-term alteration of temperature and typical weather patterns in a place. It is caused by human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels, which increase greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. This is factual and useful information. But now, let's compare this with a response from your teacher. Climate change is not just about rising temperatures. It affects ecosystems, weather patterns, and even social systems like the economy and global migration. Consider how changes in one region impact another, such as how melting ice in the Arctic can raise sea levels worldwide. While the AI gave you a good overview, your teacher's response adds depth, context, and encourages critical thinking. This is the human element that AI can't replicate. AI can provide facts, but humans help you connect the dots and understand the broader impact. This brings us to an important point. AI can help with your learning, but it should not replace your own effort and critical thinking. 
Here's how using AI can be helpful, but only if used correctly. Enhance, don't replace. AI can give you information, but it's up to you to analyze it and draw your own conclusions. If you're writing a research paper, AI can help you gather data, but it's your job to craft an argument, interpret the information, and provide original insight. Learning by doing. AI tools can show you how to solve a math problem, but simply copying the steps won't help you when it comes time for the test. You need to practice the problem-solving skills yourself so you're ready when AI isn't there to help. Ask for help. Don't avoid challenges. AI can simplify difficult topics, but don't let it stop you from asking questions in class or seeking clarification from your teachers. Human feedback can give you a deeper understanding, push your thinking, and help you grow in ways AI can't. Remember, the purpose of school is not to find the fastest way to get the right answer. It's about developing your ability to think critically, solve problems, and build knowledge that will last you a lifetime. So, to sum up, AI can be a great study partner, but it's not a substitute for your effort, creativity, and the unique insights your teachers provide. Use AI as a tool to support your learning, not as a shortcut around it. Think of it like a calculator. It's useful for complex tasks, but you still need to understand the basic principles behind what you're doing. Let's embrace the possibilities AI offers, but always remember to stay engaged with your own learning journey. Because at the end of the day, it's your knowledge, your skills, and your curiosity that will take you forward. Thank you, and I hope you walk away today thinking about how to use AI wisely in your education.